This road sign means A. Hunting area. B. State park. C. Deer crossing. D. Wildlife preserve. C. Deer crossing. This sign warns that deer cross the roadway in the area. You should slow down, be alert, and be ready to stop. This sign means A. Keep right. B. Low shoulder. C. No parking at any time. D. Lane ends. A. Keep right. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign indicates that drivers should keep right to avoid an upcoming potential driving hazard. Before driving after a winter snowfall, you should clear snow from your cars. A. Headlights. B. Turn signals. C. Windows. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. To ensure that you can see clearly while on the road, remove snow, ice, and frost from all windows before driving. Always keep your headlights, brake lights, and taillights clean. If you are driving and the rear end of your car starts skidding to the left, you should A. Steer to the right. B. Steer to the left. C. Tap your brakes lightly and shift into neutral. B. Steer to the left. If your vehicle enters a skid, you should take your foot off of the brake and steer in the direction that you want to go. For example, if the rear of your vehicle is skidding to the left, you should steer to the left. This will help bring the front of the vehicle in line with the rear, thereby straightening out the vehicle's overall direction. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Larger vehicles have a. Larger blind spots. b. Smaller blind spots. c. No blind spots. d. The same blind spots as smaller vehicles. a. Larger blind spots. The larger the vehicle, the larger the blind spots. Large trucks and SUVs have spots close to their rears that cannot be seen in their side or rearview mirrors. Which of the following statements is correct? A. Use your left foot to brake. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. C. You should always brake abruptly to ensure stopping. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating. You should apply the brakes gently with increasing pressure so that your vehicle stops gradually and smoothly. When you see this sign, you should A. Watch for traffic merging from the right. B. Merge right. C. Turn left. A. Watch for traffic merging from the right. Warning signs alert drivers to upcoming hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about potential traffic merging into their lane from the right. Large trucks are likely to lose speed when A. Driving up long or steep hills. B. Driving in long, gradual curves. C. Driving down long, gradual hills. A. Driving up long or steep hills. Because large trucks require more time to accelerate than smaller vehicles, trucks can lose speed driving up long or steep hills.
Be cautious when driving behind a large truck and be sure to give the vehicle additional space, especially when driving on an incline. Your license can be suspended if you are under 21 and drive with a blood alcohol level of A. 0.15% or more. B. 0.08% or more. C. Any amount. C. Any amount. There is zero tolerance for alcohol use by drivers under age 21. If you are under 21, the detection of any trace of alcohol in your system will result in stiff penalties, including the suspension of your license for two years. Which of the following factors affect an individual's absorption of alcohol? A. Weight. B. Height. C. Intelligence. A. Weight. Factors affecting a person's absorption of alcohol include the person's weight, their biological sex, the amount of food in their digestive tract, and the number of alcoholic beverages they have consumed. The only thing to do to remove alcohol from a person's system is to wait. You are entering a freeway. Check traffic on the freeway by A. Using your rear view and side mirrors. B. Using your rear view mirror. C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder. C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder. When entering any roadway, you must be aware of traffic conditions. Use your side mirror and look over your shoulder to help you see and anticipate traffic when entering a freeway. You are coming to an intersection and have a green light. Pedestrians are crossing against the red. You should. A. Honk your horn. B. Speed up and pass in front of the pedestrians. C. Stop to let the pedestrians cross safely. D. Drive close to the pedestrians and frighten them so they'll think twice before crossing against a red light. C. Stop to let the pedestrians cross safely. Yield to pedestrians and cars that may be caught in an intersection when you have a green light. Be careful around pedestrians under every circumstance. What does this road sign mean? A. Slow down and prepare to stop if cars are approaching you. B. Come to a full stop then proceed when it is safe to do so. C. Proceed carefully through the intersection, not always stopping. B. Come to a full stop then proceed when it is safe to do so. An octagonal sign always means stop. When approaching a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop at the marked stop line and proceed only when it is safe to do so. If there is no stop line, stop before the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, stop before the intersection at a point from which you can see any oncoming traffic. Stopping distances and the severity of collisions. A. Decrease as a vehicle's speed increases. B. Are not affected by a vehicle's speed. C. Increase as a vehicle's speed increases. C. Increase as a vehicle's speed increases. Excessive vehicle speed can have disastrous effects. As a vehicle's speed increases, the potential impact of a collision also increases, elevating the possibility of serious injury and death. Increase your following distance as your speed increases to ensure that you will be able to stop safely if needed. If an approaching train is near enough or going fast enough to be a danger, you must A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Not cross the tracks until the train has completely passed. C. Cross the tracks at your own risk. D. 
D. Find an alternative route across tracks. B. Not cross the tracks until the train has completely passed. You should look and listen for trains before crossing any railroad tracks. If an approaching train is near enough or going fast enough to be a danger, you cannot go across the tracks. This is true even if they have no signals or the signals are not working. If you find yourself in a skid, A. Brake lightly. B. Stay off the brakes. C. Brake abruptly. B. Stay off the brakes. If your vehicle begins to skid, do not use the brakes. Braking could make the skid worse. Hydroplaning is usually caused by a. Excessive stops. B. Sudden stops. C. Sudden turns. D. Excessive speed. D. Excessive speed. Your tires become less effective at clearing water from the road as you increase your speed. If you drive too fast, they may lose their grip entirely, leaving the vehicle sliding on a film of water. This is known as hydroplaning. You may legally block an intersection. A. If you entered the intersection on the green light. B. During rush hour traffic. C. Under no circumstances. C. Under no circumstances. Even if the light is green, you may not enter an intersection unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be cited. When entering an interstate highway, you should A. Stop, check for cars, and enter when safe. B. Check for cars and reduce your speed to 25 miles per hour before entering the traffic lane. C. Check for cars, increase your speed to match the flow of traffic, and merge when the way is clear. C. Check for cars, increase your speed to match the flow of traffic and merge when the way is clear. Rather than stopping, as you would when entering other roads, you must use the merging or acceleration lane to speed up and smoothly merge with fast-moving traffic already on the interstate. On a road with two lanes traveling in the same direction, you should drive in the A left lane to avoid vehicles entering the road from the right b right lane but only when you plan to exit c left lane except to pass d right lane except to pass d right lane except to pass on a road with two or more lanes traveling in the same direction stay in the right lane except to pass on a road with three or more lanes traveling in the same direction, stay as far to the right as is practical. How far down the road should you look when driving? A. 10 to 15 seconds. B. 100 to 150 yards. C. 1 to 2 blocks. A. 10 to 15 seconds. You should stay aware of conditions on the road ahead in order to avoid the need for any last second maneuvers. Looking 10 to 15 seconds ahead of your vehicle is a good habit. This sign means A. Steep downgrade. B. Crossroad ahead. C. No right turn. D. Narrow bridge. A. Steep downgrade. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming steep hill. They should adjust their speed accordingly to avoid brake damage or collision.
As your speed increases, it is important to a. Turn on your headlights. b. Look well ahead of your vehicle. c. Change lanes frequently. b. Look well ahead of your vehicle. Your vehicle's stopping distance increases as your speed increases. When driving at high speeds, it is important to look well ahead of your vehicle to allow yourself space to safely react to hazardous situations. Which of the following lights indicates that you should slow down and proceed with caution at an intersection? A. A flashing yellow light. B. A flashing red light. C. A solid yellow light. D. A solid red light. A. A flashing yellow light. A flashing yellow traffic light at an intersection indicates that drivers must slow down, proceed with caution, and be prepared to stop. If your car begins to skid out of control, you should A. Pump the brakes. B. Apply the brakes lightly. C. Stay off the brakes. C. Stay off the brakes. If your vehicle begins to skid, stay off the brakes. Continue to correct your steering until the vehicle is back under your control and moving safely down the road. Check your rear view mirrors. A. Often to see how traffic is moving behind you. B. To see if a vehicle is in your blind spot. C. Only when you are slowing down. A. Often to see how traffic is moving behind you. When driving, do not develop a fixed stare. Frequently check your rear view mirrors so you know the positions of vehicles near you. What does this road sign indicate? A. Directions for children. B. School zone ahead. C. Playground area ahead. B. School zone ahead. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in or are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. Be aware of children when driving near a school zone and follow posted speed limits. Which of the following statements is true? A. It is okay for drivers of other vehicles to follow motorcycles closely. B. A motorcycle with two people on it is more balanced than a motorcycle with just one rider. C. The driver of a passenger vehicle must change lanes completely when passing a motorcycle. D. Drivers of other vehicles can expect a motorcycle's brake lights to turn on when the motorcyclist slows down. C. The driver of a passenger vehicle must change lanes completely when passing a motorcycle. Motorcycles are entitled to the width of a full lane. Be sure your vehicle is entirely in the left lane before attempting to pass a motorcycle on the left. The correct way to use a freeway exit ramp is to A. Slow down before entering the exit ramp. B. Slow down once moving onto the exit ramp. C. Keep your speed constant once in the exit ramp. D. Pass slower traffic in the exit ramp. B. Slow down once moving onto the exit ramp. When using a freeway exit ramp, do not slow down until you move onto the exit ramp. When driving to an unfamiliar area, you A. Should depend on road signs to find your way. B. Should plan your trip in advance. C. Only have to know generally where your destination is. D. Should always choose the most direct route. B. Should plan your trip in advance. When driving to an unfamiliar area, plan your trip in advance.
Don't start with only a hazy idea of where you are going. If your destination is in an unfamiliar area, check the location on a map before you start to drive. If you come to an intersection controlled by a flashing yellow light, you must a. Wait for the green light before proceeding. b. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. c. Stop before crossing the intersection. b. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. A flashing yellow traffic light means drivers must slow down, be more aware, and proceed with caution. Be alert to crossing traffic and pedestrians. A steady yellow traffic signal means that a fill in the blank light will soon appear. A. Flashing yellow. B. Steady green. C. Steady red. D. Flashing red. C. Steady red. A steady yellow light on a traffic signal indicates that a steady red light will soon appear. Stop lines are solid white lines painted across traffic lanes. A. In curves and on hills. B. Next to churches and schools. C. At intersections and pedestrian crosswalks. D. On freeway on ramps. C. At intersections and pedestrian crosswalks. Stop lines are solid white lines painted across traffic lanes at intersections and pedestrian crosswalks. They indicate the exact location at which approaching drivers must stop. This road sign means A. Roundabout ahead. B. No passing zone. C. Left turn yield on green. D. Traffic signal ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. This sign means that a traffic signal is ahead. You should slow down and be prepared to stop. As you approach an intersection with a flashing yellow light. A. Stop before crossing the intersection. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Wait for a green light before proceeding. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means that you should slow down, check for cross traffic, and proceed with caution. Another driver is trying to pass your car. You should A. Pull off the road. B. Signal to the other driver when it is safe for them to pass. C. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to allow safe passing. D. Speed up. C. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to allow safe passing. Keep right when another driver begins to pass you on the left. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to let the passing vehicle move back into the right lane as easily as possible. A speed restriction sign. A. May be ignored in rainy, snowy, or icy conditions. B. Has a triangular shape. C. Is blue with black lettering. D. Shows a recommended speed for a curve or turn. D. Shows a recommended speed for a curve or turn. Curve and turn warning signs often have attached advisory speed signs that show a recommended driving speed for drivers in the curves and turns. Although a driver may feel comfortable driving at a higher speed in fair weather, they should never do so under rainy, snowy, or icy conditions. This road sign means A. Do not enter. B. No parking. C. No U-turn. C. No U-turn.
This sign prohibits drivers from making a U-turn. You cannot turn around to go in the opposite direction at an intersection where this sign is posted. If you are involved in a serious motor vehicle crash. A. Stop. B. Call the police. C. Determine if anyone is injured. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If you are involved in a crash, move your vehicle off of the road and stop, if possible. If anyone is injured, call 911 and provide appropriate help. You must report the crash to law enforcement if there is an injury, a death, and or more than $1,000 in property damage, or more than $200 worth of damage made to non-vehicle government property, such as signs or guardrails. Braking distance is affected by a. The speed your vehicle is traveling. b. The condition of your brakes and tires. c. The condition of the pavement. d. All of the above. d. All of the above. Factors that can affect braking distance include how fast your vehicle is traveling, the condition of your brakes and tires, and the condition of the pavement. This sign means A. Don't drink if you are going to drive. B. Slippery when wet. C. Road curves ahead. D. You are approaching a hill. B. Slippery when wet. This sign warns that the road is slippery when wet. Allow a larger space cushion than usual when stopping. A. On an incline. B. At an intersection. C. At a stop sign. D. At a toll plaza. A. On an incline. You should allow more space in front of your vehicle than usual when you are stopped on an uphill slope. If the vehicle in front of you rolls backward toward your vehicle when traffic begins to move again, it is less likely that there will be a collision. Your tire blows out while you are driving. You should A. Slam on your brakes. B. Hold your steering wheel tightly and slow to a stop. C. Keep driving normally. D. Turn on your emergency flashers and continue driving. B. Hold your steering wheel tightly and slow to a stop. If you experience a tire blowout, do not immediately apply the brakes. Grip the steering wheel firmly and steer to remain in your traffic lane. Reduce your speed gradually by releasing the accelerator and staying off the brakes. Once you are moving very slowly, apply the brakes lightly and pull off the road into a safe area. A steady green traffic light at an intersection means A. Increase your speed. B. Adjust your mirrors. C. You may continue through the intersection at a safe and reasonable speed, if it is clear to do so. C. You may continue through the intersection at a safe and reasonable speed, if it is clear to do so. A steady green traffic light indicates that the driver may continue through the intersection. The driver should yield to traffic or pedestrians already in the intersection and proceed when the intersection is clear. If you are turning onto a street with more than one lane traveling in your direction, you should A. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. B. Turn into the lane marked with an arrow. C. Turn into the middle lane. D. Turn into any lane. A. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. When turning onto a street with more than one lane moving in the direction that you are traveling, turn into the lane that is closest to your previous lane.
Do not change lanes when turning. This sign means A. Yield. B. Crossroad ahead. C. Keep right. D. Yield ahead. A. Yield. Traffic signs with three sides of equal length warn drivers to slow down when approaching an intersection and to be prepared to come to a complete stop to yield to other drivers or pedestrians. Drivers may proceed when it is safe to do so. This sign means A. Merge. B. Winding road ahead. C. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. A. Merge. This sign warns that two lanes of traffic going the same direction will soon merge into one lane. This sign means A. Side road. B. Low clearance. C. Merging traffic. D. Prepare to stop. A. Side road. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers to be aware of potential traffic entering from an upcoming side road. The best thing to do if you become tired while driving is to A. Stop to rest or change drivers. B. Drink coffee. C. Open a window. A. Stop to rest or change drivers. If you become tired while driving, it is best to stop to rest or change drivers. Being tired dulls your mind and slows down your reactions, making driving hazardous. What should a driver do when approaching a traffic control signal that is not in operation? A. Come to a full stop and yield the right of way before entering the intersection. B. If the intersection is clear, the driver does not need to stop. C. Drive quickly through the intersection to get out of the way of other vehicles. A. Come to a full stop and yield the right of way before entering the intersection. When traffic control signals are not working, a driver must always treat the intersection as an all-way stop and come to a complete stop, unless otherwise directed by law enforcement. The driver must then look and yield the right-of-way before entering the intersection. <laughs>